Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. I am Rhonda. Welcome to Acres of Clay. Today, it is gorgeous out today. We, uh, we have sunshine, <laughs> and we have, and we have warmer weather. So it's going to be like in the 60s today, which is amazing. Hopefully, I get to work on my greenhouse. Get that. Um, I could probably get it wrapped up in another, if I worked on it all day today, I could probably get it done, but there's so many things I have. Like I want to work in the garden and I want to work on this project and that project and if I think about it too much I could get overwhelmed by all the things I need to do before it gets too busy and the growing season really takes off. Um, so I'm not going to think about everything that needs to be done. I'm only gonna think about the things that I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna head over to the workshop a minute. I had to grab my gloves. Uh, head over to the workshop where Ethan is working on the chopper, I believe. And here's just a quick peek of what I've done so far. Can you guys see that? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, quick peek. Guess what? The mud is starting to go down. Um, or dry up which is great yeah it looks muddy but those are just ruts uh, there's no standing water so that's that's a plus although we're supposed to get some severe weather here maybe in a few days wait and see Ethan has been working on our John Deere chopper getting things ready for spring because it will be soon where we have to start doing some green chopping, chopping the rye, all that good stuff. And what'd you do? You come up on a problem? Um, so we did, we replaced the shear bar out. Um, we changed the oil and everything, greasing everything, getting it ready. We were checking the final drives, oil, and they were chock full of metal. So figure a bearing is probably going out and we don't want it to go out on the road. What if, so what if a out. bearing went out on the road? There you sit. Oh, it wouldn't move? It probably would. I don't know what would happen. Oh. Like, there was a gear there. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, so you took off the tire, which is there. And <laughs> this is how far he's got. Is it on both front tires? Yeah. Oh. So you have to replace. So we have to take this. What? Off. You have to take all that off? We have to take this housing here. Oh. Because there's a bearing on the back side, there's a bearing here, there's a bearing on this drive. We have to check them all, so make sure. So there's several bearings. Probably three, maybe four. Oh. I've never done this before. What? I've never done this before. Oh, it's good, good experience, then, huh? For what, John Deere mechanic? Yeah. <laughs> We're not just gonna like drop the thing. Well, it's not just gonna fall off. It would just fall. Well, bro, uh, I don't think it would fall. It probably has to slide out. Yeah. Before it falls. Yeah. Because you yeah. already drained the oil on it. Had a couple gallons, two gallons. So didn't have the right impact. Oh, you can't get an impact on the back. Oh, this is gonna show your real strength. Just have a long enough bar, and what you can move the world. Yes, long enough bar. <sighs> wow, look at you go. You need help. No. They torque them down good. No. No? I was tightening it. <laughs> you were meant to, right? No, I can't. Going down's easier. Try 
try a different one. Yeah. You must have just tightened that one so tight. I'll need a heavier person to do that one. <laughs> you just need to eat more Wheaties or mom's home cooking. So, 160 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. That went. Snapped it, huh? See if dad can do it since he has more weight. It's a big bearing. Yeah, it's where. It's splitting this thing. Right there. Yeah. Can you pop the key out? Designed to hold the key in. That's what that's for? Mm -hmm. Ooh, two of them. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And then this should turn. So, we need a clean area for that. Left hand or right hand? I may need more of a whack. Right hand. How do you know? I am an expert. You are? I called it. It's right hand thread. Wow, Ethan knew. He's an expert. Do this on a truck. Mm -hmm. Back on the end of that chair, see what happens. Somehow I'm going to keep this from spinning.
Are you the own white? It's own white. The do I think? Sometimes you have to get creative in how you do stuff. Think outside the box. Well, now you know for when you do the second one. Should just drop. Really? Yeah. So I gotta get the workout. Yeah, that scared me. <laughs> Ah, these bearings look good. Let's roll it over and look at the other one. Did you see that? Huh? He used his pants as a grease rag. Yeah. You want to drag that out or not? Huh? Just looking. Somewhere the grease the... Huh? Got a locking thing right there for some reason. For that way. Alright. That very much good though. I don't see any pity. Well, do you want to dig into it further? Because this bearing looks fine. Probably just the cap off here. Flip that off and take a look at that bearing. So so if it's a bearing that's in here, you wouldn't have had to take this whole thing off, right? No, but you gotta check the bearings because we're getting a lot of metal shaving and this race looks fine. I haven't seen the race on the other side. Oh. But right here the shim and... I remember where it goes. Yeah. How oh, does that go? Nice. I think that goes on like that. How do you know the metal wasn't there from a prior owner? Have you done this? You haven't we done checked them. Sydney checked them a year ago and he said there wasn't no oil. Metal. No metal in the oil? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, okay. My bearing's fine. Bearing's fine. I think unless it's wearing off these. They um, don't look wore though. No. Well, if you run your finger here, feel that edge. I think that's, yeah. that's where it's coming from. You can tell? Yeah, there's a little burr there. There's a little burr. So we have to replace that thing? No. But that's where the metal. Just have to change it more often, maybe. Change the oil? But we're good. The other one's probably the same way. You feel the burr on there? Oh, yeah. It's rough. Rough. So. That's just Not bad. No. It's just wear from the gears. Mm -hmm. So. It's now all that work and you have to put it all back together? Well, I, you never know. Are you going to take, are you going to change anything out or are you just? No, I don't see really no need because. I thought it'd be some bearing issues, but I don't see no bearing issues. So that one looks good to me. Just clean okay. it up and put it back together. Yeah. And it's just the wear and tear because this is actually, I think it's a softer tooth than this. Cause I don't mm. feel the edge on that. So this is probably the part that's designed to wear. Oh, first. 
And now knowing what we know, we could change this right out on the machine. We wouldn't have to take, take it all it. apart. Does that feel good or need a little grease in it? Well, there you go. Now we all know.